Hello again everyone. We're out for another walk and pretty excited to have come across my second mountain pit viper. Um, I guess this is maybe the first officially for this year. I'd seen one uh, several months back but this one is pretty spectacular. I guess similar to the last one. Uh, they're all really quite great but really really fun to be able to find one that's uh, I guess the last one was juvenile this one's slightly more mature still on the small side but um, more like a sub-adult size rather than a, uh, a tiny tiny juvenile and what a cool position that we've got this one in here um, I'll try and move around a little bit I mean these are ambush snakes they don't usually sit out in the open at all but we've got one position good to get some great footage so here you can see it coiled up I think if I move over the top you might be able to see the caudal lure tucked up in there but now the tails tucked away so it's uh, a little bit difficult to see but anyways um, if you've been watching the videos recently you'd have already gotten the download on the species but for anyone tuning in for the first time this is a pretty rare and cryptic snake species here in Hong Kong um, they only live in some select locations and are pretty hard to come by so very lucky to be able to get them on film and this is a mountain pit viper also called a Tonkin pit viper and scientific name Avophis tonkinensis really really interesting species they're a, a viper and they've got some interesting characteristics uh, first and foremost they're egg layers which is not exclusive to this species but it's less common in viper species around the world uh, second they have a reputation for striking and then holding on and constricting their prey especially small rodents as opposed to most vipers that bite and venomate and then release and hope that the venom works fast enough so that they can get to the prey before it runs away and gets somewhere inaccessible or something else snatches it up and eats it so uh, pretty interesting behavior sets. They're also a cold weather snake, uh, which is a little bit counterintuitive for those of you that understand the cold-blooded nature of most reptiles, uh, but they do quite well uh, in the cold weathers. So really, really interesting species. Very, very cool to have it in a spot where we can film it this clearly. And really good start to this week. So. We're going to keep it going. If we find anything else interesting, we'll check back in. Otherwise, uh, this one may close us out for the evening. <laughs> 